Hey everybody. So I couldn't have any peace with having that bicycle in my house and I just had to get it out of my get the bicycle out of my life. So what I'm doing is I'm I'm dropping the bike off, I'm delivering it. So um yeah, here it is, man. I'm just freaking. I'm having to go to Milani, Mililani, and and drop off the bike. Um, apparently, it was stolen out of the garage in Mililani, and somehow it ended in downtown. Ended up in downtown Honolulu, and I bought it. Stupid me. No, I called the I called the guy that sold it to me. And he seemed kind of sketchy, but I didn't tell him that I found out that the bike was stolen. And I'm going to go pay him a visit after I return the bike. I'm also going to get the police report number from this guy. And, um, shucks, this is going to suck. I'm going to, I'm going to tell him, hey man, the bike is stolen. I returned the bike. There's a police report going on, and I'm just going to have to turn you in. So, anyway, that's the long and short of it. Man, this really put a dampener on my day, because um, today I had bought this car. Uh, I, I bought myself a Scion XB. And um, it's, just, it's a really boxy car. And I've been wanting one for a while. And um, I'm, also, I'm actually very happy with it because I got it at a great price. And it's in pretty good shape. It's got a lot of features. And um, I'm so happy and excited about it today. And then here I find out about this bicycle. And it just put a total dampener. I'm so pissed off. I mean, I put a lot of effort on that bike to tune it up and clean it, and and I shopped around for the right accessories for it, and now it's like, now I gotta give it back. Like, I, I find out it's stolen, I gotta give it back to whoever it was stolen from, and then now the police are involved. It sucks. Very upsetting. 